Hi everybody and a good Friday evening to you. We had pretty warm temperatures across the basin for today, but currently outside right now, temperatures are starting to get a little bit mild. So we head out taking a look at the pinpoint seven eye cams looking towards big spring and you can kind of see the camera bouncing up and down as the winds have been a little bit on the breezy side, anywhere between 10 to 20 miles an hour. And as we head off looking at Fort Stockton, Looking at the sunset, it is very nice with the clouds around the region. And again, you can see in the higher elevation or higher portions of the atmosphere, I should say, those clouds are going to stick around for a little while, even going into the morning hours. But right now, temperatures are into the mid 60s, right at 66 degrees. We have a south wind at 15 miles an hour. Dew point is up at 42, so humidity is up as well at 42 percent. Pressure steady at 29.97. Almanac for today, we reached a high of 73 degrees for today, where we should average 66 for this time of year, so seven degrees above normal. Only averaging 38 for this time of year, dropping to 42 early this morning. So it was really, really nice, even as I made my way off into the Andrews area this morning where they had their get a life career day. And it was a very nice morning and very nice to get out and talk with those students out at Andrews High School. But right now, again, we're at 66, 63 out in Big Spring and even down towards Marfa and Alpine sharing the 63, even down towards Del Rio. Fort Stockton, you're cooling off quite nicely at the lower 70s at 72 degrees. So let's take a look at the winds, kind of have a little bit of an area where the winds are starting to die down, but we're still in between 10 to 20 miles an hour for the northern Permian Basin. And of course, near the Guadalupe Mountains and Pine Springs, still have a west-southwest wind sustained at 43 miles an hour. So take note if you're out there, those are very high fire dangers as you head off to that portion of West Texas. Surface map right now shows we have a big area of high pressure in control of the southeastern portion of the United States. And we do have some fronts that are coming in from the north and bringing in some very cold air. And as we take a closer look at the front that will be impacting our area, it'll be this front here that we're just going towards Nevada right now, but bringing a lot of snowfall to the state of Idaho, and that's going to continue to push off towards the south and southwest. So again, as we look at your Saturday, we're going to start off mostly clear, chilly, 48 degrees, and the winds out of the south, 5 to 10 miles an hour by noon. It'll be mild, breezy into the lower 70s, 72 degrees. Again, breezy southwest winds, 10 to 20, and by 3 o'clock, we're looking for an afternoon high of 77, and after that, we'll look for the clouds to start to increase. So pinpoint weather, 7-day forecast looks breezy, 77 for the high, 76 on Sunday, and as we start the next work week out. That's when that next Pacific front will start to make its way, increasing our chances of some showers around the basin as we only look for a high of 74 degrees and then that front will clear through by Tuesday and we only make it to 65. Just a couple of lingering showers showers early off in the day and Wednesday we're still into the lower 60s, 64 and right now Thanksgiving looks pretty nice. It'll be partly to mostly sunny, only a high of 67 degrees, so it'll be nice and cool, but a little bit breezy as well before we start to warm it up on Friday, 72 degrees. It's a great Thanksgiving. It's so hard to believe it's here. It just got here so quickly, and if you have family coming in, it looks like it's going to be great. All right, Juan, thanks very much. Yeah.